CBS 2 investigates now and tonight 57 Ann Street is an empty void just a year after that deadly parking garage collapse. The tragedy sparked calls for increased oversight, but CBS 2 investigator Masa Saidi has found that more than 400 garages have not done mandatory inspections. Willis Moore never got to meet his grandchild. The beloved parking manager was killed when his workplace at 57 Ann Street collapsed. Video from inside the garage captured that moment. Dozens of heavy SUVs tumbling, sending four workers to the hospital. The entire neighborhood was impacted, including the Cohen family who lived on the block. Adam Cohen says his kids were displaced for months, eventually forced to start again. A new home, a new school. The impact on my children has been hard. That day in April changed my life. Before your legislation, they weren't inspecting these garages. There was no inspection of garages unless they were being built or a major renovation. When he was a council member, Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine co-sponsored a law that required periodic inspection of garages. Owners are now responsible for hiring engineers to find and fix unsafe conditions. The first group mandated to be examined more than a thousand structures in Manhattan. Pictures and city records show what inspectors found. Structures cracked, concrete spalling, and beams severely corroded. Right now, the group of structures deemed unsafe by the Department of Buildings are partially closed off until repairs are made. But CBS2 Investigates has found not everyone's following the rules. More than 400 garages still haven't done this inspection, even though the deadline was last year. That's not acceptable. This is a matter of safety. We need compliance, and if it takes stiffer fines to do it, then we've got to up those fines. Right now, non-compliant garages face a fine of a thousand bucks a month. Buildings Commissioner Jimmy Otto is in charge of getting the structures into compliance. Assistant Commissioner Egal Shamash, his enforcement chief. We are holding building owners responsible. Those building owners need to hire an engineer that is qualified to perform these inspections. Do you have any idea why they're not doing this? Do they not know about it? Do they not have the money to hire these inspectors? Well, I think what's important to realize is, yes, by the deadline, um, we had uh, a certain number of reports come in. But since that deadline, we've had over 100 reports submitted to us. Shamash says compliance just takes time. He points to the success the department has had with another program, facade inspections. Unlike parking garages, that's been around for 44 years. We have a 96 compliance, 96 percent compliance rate in facades, and we're very confident that we're going to get equal or even higher compliance rate for parking structures. Adam Cohen hopes that's true and that it happens soon. And these garage inspections are due every six years. In the wake of the Ann Street collapse, there was a push to get eyes on all of these structures sooner. That's why by August 1st, garage owners must conduct a visual inspection to catch any potentially urgent issues. I'm investigator Masa Saidi, CBS 2 News.